Hello students, this week we're going to make a zip line, an epic zip line. But since we're in quarantine right now, we'll have to make them inside our tiny, tiny houses. To make these tiny zip lines, there's a string in your science kit. Just bust that open and grab the string. Then you'll have to make something to travel on the zip line. I don't know about you, but at our house we have lots and lots of Legos. Here, let me demonstrate. And this week, I'm not experimenting alone, but instead have some helpers. Let's introduce you to them. Um, I'm Galia, and I'm from 6th grade. I'm Les, and I'm from 5th grade. I'm Elam, and I'm from 4th grade. I am Hannah, and I'm from 3rd grade. I'm Ashley, and I'm from 1st grade. I'm Eliana, and I'm from 1st grade. I'm Ashley, and I'm from kindergarten. This is Audrey from Pre-K! <laughs> what is a variable? A variable is what you change yes. in the experiment. What is one thing we could change about our zipline? The weight. Like take, take off the two like, things. Take off or take off one. Yeah, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The height, height of the rope. Um, how can we do a motorized zip line? We could change how many people are holding it and make it more slant so it'll go way faster. Like when you're a lot slant, downward it's more like a downward a downward angle. Do you want to like right? And also, it's the slope. Yeah, the slope. Oh, yeah, that was really the slope. Here it goes faster because it's steeper. But the like, if it's straight, it it won't even go. You could change this because I think it's like an actual thing. Wait. Shortness, longness. Which variable should we use for our hypothesis? And another thing is, it does also sometimes matter by the weight. Like, if it were to be gold, it would just be like stuck, and there would be a little like valve that you just have in your gold thingy. Because the gold. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you uh, if you had a stamp a slant and then a flat. Maybe it would still go or as long as a slant or it might as well be as fast as a slant as fast as it's going on the slant. After we choose our variable, how can we measure how it affects the zip line? We can count like maybe the seconds. Yeah, that's what I was thinking or the milliseconds or could mm -hmm. count everything. And then another thing is like when you say measuring speed, did you say that? And is it just basically seconds and minutes? You, you could, could you could count. tell how how far like like miles per hour wise if you would if you took how long it is and what, how much time it is. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's put it all together. If I add more weight, then the object on the zip line will go faster.
The light Lego was slowly going down the supply, so a hypothesis was supported a heavy object went faster than light Legos. We did a lot of trials so we know what happened. If we did it just one time, that wouldn't be reliable. That first trial, the light Lego took 7.7 .7 seconds because we pushed it instead of letting go. That was a lot longer than the other trials. We learned as we went. So thanks for watching, and we hope you experiment on your own now with a different variable. Until next week.